There are more than one million active duty National Guard and reserve military spouses in the United States, and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation's Hiring Our Heroes is a nationwide initiative to help veterans transition in servicing members and military spouses find meaningful employment opportunities. That's right. We got the chance, I got the chance actually, to speak with Elizabeth O'Brien. She was executive director of Hiring Our Heroes, and Mike Kelly, assistant vice president of USAA, who discussed this important Important initiative. We are with Vice President of the U.S. Chamber of Foundations Elizabeth O'Brien for hiring our heroes and Assistant Vice President with USAA Mike Kelly and it's all about Military Spouse Appreciation Day today and uh, thank you guys for joining us. Glad to be here. Uh, let's talk up start with you Elizabeth. Um, let's talk about the difficulties that transitioning service members and military spouses face in finding employment when they move. Absolutely, and great question. You know, military spouses are a population that's 92% female, and we have 21% rate of unemployment, so placing us four and five times the rate of the national average, even though we're more educated. You know, I've been a military spouse for the last two decades, including during our nation's longest conflicts, and so at one point I lived seven places in nine years. So as you start to put together, I'm more 10 times more likely than our civilian counterparts to move over state lines. You can start to see there are some significant challenges in ensuring a military spouse has a pathway into economic opportunity. Now, the good news is uh, at Hiring Our Heroes, we have worked to create programming to build solutions so that military spouses can go to work in the communities that they live in. And USAA has been a big part of our success and our impact. I'm so sure. And also, you have so much more experience, too, having all of that uh, throughout the different states. Mike, what makes military spouses such great employees? Well, a lot of it is what Liz has already highlighted, the fact that she moved seven times in nine years. That lived experience of the military challenges that the spouses face is an incredibly important uh, addition to any employer's workforce. So uh, they are resilient. They are flexible, they're outside the box thinkers, they're problem solvers, uh, and they just have an incredible amount of energy and desire to contribute in a meaningful career because they don't always have those opportunities when they move around as much as they do. Uh, let's, let's discuss how the USAA supports military spouses and domestic partner employees throughout military life. Can you ex expand on that, Mike? Right. Well, certainly as an um, employer, uh, we love to hire military spouses and domestic partners because they have that shared experience. If you think of who USA is and who we serve, who better to uh, serve our members than those who have actually lived that experience? So we have a robust set of programs. Of course, we partner very, very closely with organizations like Hiring Our Heroes. In fact, we have one of their original partners that started uh, when they started back in 2011 and 2012 because we wanted to set an example and inspire other employers to follow our lead and hire military spouses and domestic partners. In fact, last year we hired nearly a thousand military spouses at USA. Already this year, uh, almost 200 military spouses. So it's very uh, important for us to make sure that we not just hire them, but that we also retain them. So we look at opportunities to uh, better serve them by making their jobs more flexible. If they're an active duty military spouse and they're PCSing, we try to accommodate that move and set them up on the other end as a remote employee so that we can retain them. And also we've established some very um, strong internal programs, a connected community of military spouses and military veterans at USA, we call our VetNet program. Uh, but that allows them to come together for networking opportunities, professional development, sometimes just getting together and telling stories and sharing those experiences that they had in the military. So we've got a, a wide range of programs in place to help take care of those military spouse employees. So many options that are available. That's great through USAA. Uh, Elizabeth, tell us more about Military Spouse Appreciation Day and why it's so important to acknowledge the education, uh, the diversity, the skill sets that military spouses bring to the workforce. 
Yep, you know, each year on the Friday before Mother's Day, we celebrate Military Spouse Appreciation Day. I think it is a fantastic opportunity for uh, members of our community around the country to take a moment and reflect on this great population that is an extension of our all-volunteer force and, and by proxy ensures uh, and impacts national security. And so, you know, I, I never want someone to say to me, thank you for your service or supporting your, your service member. Great way for me, I always say, is hire a military spouse, put them to work. And I think about, you know, um, Fort Eisenhower in Augusta, Georgia is near and dear to my heart. We were down there just a, a month and a half ago and hosted a great military spouse um, uh employment hiring event. You know, I got my, uh, a lifetime ago, I was a college basketball coach and the first place I coached was at USC Aiken. And I think about the community down there and how Coach Roberts, you know, 25, 30 years later is still a part of my life and tracking our progress as a military family. Uh, and so it's that kind of recognition, those kinds of touch points that truly make a difference in the life of a military spouse. So for me, uh, you know, May 10th is an opportunity for uh, members of our community to be part of the solution. Hey, go Pacers. I'm all about that from USC Aiken. Uh, where can <laughs> someone right. go for more information? That's right. Head on over uh, to hiringourheroes.org or visit us on LinkedIn under Hiring Our Heroes uh, to learn more about the great programming and partners that we work with. All right, great. Elizabeth O'Brien and Mike Kelly, thank you so much for the time. And uh, hey, happy Military Spouses Day. Absolutely.